Hey, what's up, folks? You know it's April 1st, right? <laughs> Y'all gonna be... <laughs> so I told her, you know, it's April Fool's Day, right? So I told a woman I'd hit the lottery, right? A woman I was talking to, because, you know, I study them now. Um, whether I like them or not, I study them. I just was telling her I hit the lottery, and I noticed she kind of... Um, she think I like her a little bit. So she think I like her. And so I told her, you know, I mess around. I think I just hit the lottery. I got all the numbers right. It's on the phone, right? And uh, she usually kind of laid back on, you know, conversation, laid back. She don't show too much energy. She don't talk too much. She don't run her mouth. Uh, it's kind of just. But all of a sudden, her energy went up. I told her I hit the lottery and convinced her that I hit the lottery. They know how to act. They know how to talk. They know how to present themselves when they want to. They may act this way around you, but around another guy, they are a whole nother person based on who they think that guy is. So I just wanted to see how she act. I used April Fool's Day, and I still haven't told her that I didn't hit the lottery yet. But I used April Fool's Day to, you know, to my benefit. And she's, she don't know how, she's trying to maintain her composure, but she's extra, she. <laughs> so she used to kind of burp a little bit and didn't mind her mind burping. So then when she burped and she thinking about, I told her I got that money, she burped again and said, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. She hurry up and like, she don't want to turn me off now. She don't want to turn me off, you know, because now she's saying, oh, man, he got $21 million. I want to be the first. And I ain't never smashed this girl. Um, I really don't want to smash her. Just she cool, folks. She, she cool. One of them people that's kind of cool. I might smash. But anyway, she, uh, but she just, all of a sudden her energy going up. She's watching what she's saying. Her, you can see her vibe, her vibe switch so fast. When you get money, folks, watch it. If you guys already have a lot of money, um, popularity or fame, be careful who you, fake like you lost your money or fake like you about to go through hard times or, Something like that. Tell them you got something. Just to see how they react. Are they quick to try to nurture? Or are they quick to, cap to try to leave? Act like you're about to lose everything. If, if you're a guy who got a Benz, you got a lot of money, you're known for traveling, you're, the, the women you deal with or the woman you deal with, um, the woman you deal with know you got some money to travel with and buy things, motorcycles, boats, or whatever the case is. Um, act like you broke. Because you'll never know people until you're down. People can put on a smiley face for years. One of my clients uh, told me that he thought he had the best wife in the world until he lost his job. Then it took him a while to get another job. She, she left him and said, I'm sorry, this is not for me, it's not you, it's me, I gotta da, da, da. Come to find out he got another job to pay more. Eventually, it took about four, five, six months or something. He ended up getting another job to pay more. And uh, she tried to come back, he was, nah, uh -uh. He was like, nah, uh -uh. Somehow she must have seen him on Facebook or, you know, seen him, you know, you must have posted his new house or, or something about his job or success on Facebook, and she's seen it. It was like, tried to come back. And this somebody he, so she was faking for 10 years, man. That's how long people can fake like they love you. Can you imagine how many family members gonna call back when you make it? Nobody believe in you or want to act like they believe you. Everybody act like they wanna support you when you're already winning when you don't need their help. You need people the most when you're trying, not when you're celebrating. They want to come around when you're celebrating. <laughs> they don't want to help you prepare for the party. They want to come to the party when it's already 
already popping. When the DJ playing the food, they want to come when the thing is already popping. You want people in your life that's going to come around you, help you prepare to party, not come when the party already started, if you know what I mean, man. So just be careful, man. These people out here know how to act. They are actors. All actors, not on TV. I got a book out called God Don't Like Fake People. Um, I wrote that years ago. Um, it's, it's called, uh, my name is the Cedar Solomon on there. Um, Cedar Solomon. Um, but um, anyway, hey, much love to you. Um, I'm Alan Ray, and everything you need is in the description box. My latest single, Pookie and Ray Ray Anthem, is in the description box. The link is in the description box, along with my cash app you want to donate. Um, you want to donate a nickel or two. If you're getting anything out of these videos, you want to donate a nickel or two, feel, feel free to donate to my cash app link in the description box. You want to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. You want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me about something that's going on in your life or you want my advice. My email and my Instagram is in there. Message me on both for one of them, and I'll get back to you, and we can set something up, all right? Much love to you. Put Jesus first. Jesus is everything. He's the only way. I'll see y'all in the comment section. And press the bell for the next video. I'm out.